Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Deborah. Today I'm going to be playing with altering some sticky tape. And that's what we call it here in Australia. But people call it all different things worldwide. But it's just a plain and standard size tape. And I've got two things I'm going to do and I'm also going to make something when I've done the first method. So we'll put some out. I've got a, an old bit of plastic folder sheet that I've chopped out of a book and I just want to lay some tape down onto it. The reason I'm using plastic is because I want to be able to get it up again. So I'll just do three stripes and my plan is to store it on here. So I'll leave it on here until I'm ready to use it and then I'll pull pieces of it up and use it. Let's just get that much out for a start and then I'm going to get my alcohol ink, the only one I own that's in a brown colour anyway and I'm just going to dab it on and see what we get. So I just put some down and I think because it dries super quickly that I need to hit it with a tissue or something to create some mottling. So I'm just dabbing it basically to see what I get and then I'm going to add some more on. So the look I'm trying to achieve is like old tape. And I do have a sample of old tape somewhere. I just couldn't remember where I put it today. I was going to bring it out but I just want to create some mottling and stuff on it. And that way I'll be able to, you know, look, use it like it's a piece of old sticky tape that's been on a book or a page or whatever for a while. So that's all you need to do is just dab it like that and then do the others. I might do the others later actually. I'm quite pressed for time today so I need to move on and get something done. But I did want to make something this morning before I start my day so it's quite early for me today. <laughs> I'm not usually out of bed at this time I'll tell you the truth. I'm awake but I like to look at the news and I like to see what's happening on Facebook and on my YouTube channel and a few other bits and bobs that I've got going. And that's why I usually stay in bed and that's lazy but when you're retired you're allowed to be lazy. I spent you know a long 40 years getting up at the crack of dawn and getting going and going off to work every day for long long hours so I figured that I'm allowed that now and my husband brings me a cup of tea in bed every day so I'm quite spoiled I'm just going to do the two of them I'll do the other one later so that's that part now I wanted to make something I've just got a piece of manila cardstock and I've got this little photo so I found this photo of myself, you can see there, there I am with a funny looking hat on my head. Mum made everything that we wore and she also was a knitter. So you could bet your bottom dollar that she knitted that funny little hat. I've got other photos of us kids in those hats so she must have found a pattern and knitted. And that's a dog but I don't know which dog it is. I'm about um, well I'm, I'm under two yeah because I know we left this is taken at the pub that my parents had when I was born and I know we left there in February of um, 59 so I'm under two two years two months old in that one so I'm guessing I'm about coming up on two because I'm walking although they walk at one I don't think I walked terribly early though maybe I did who can I can't remember and now I'm going to make something so I've got this and I've got some book page and this is going in my personal journal so I wanted to use some things that perhaps in the past I would go oh I don't think I want to use that yet I know it's a bit silly isn't it and I will cut it down when I finish it up so I'm just going to start by putting some stuff down and then adding the photo and then adding the bit of tape that I've just made. 
the alcohol ink dries super quickly you know like in seconds so if you're working with it you need to be quick up there First, it matters which way up that goes does it I prefer the lines on the outside of this and it's just sort of ink around this a little bit and crush it up just a bit of old paper this one give some texture and some interest under there and oh yes I pulled this out too I thought that that might look good that's probably better than the fluffy thing let's just let's move this up a little bit actually and I want to put this on how much do I need let me see let me see probably that much I think this is just the selvage from a um, piece of fabric need to trim this down because I want the edge I don't want the sort of the fabric where the words are although it is cute fabric I need to stick some of this down it's starting to bother me that I'm not um, not getting what I want so I'll stick some down it might help all else fails I can just start again I definitely want this along here and I do have another technique just finish up this and I'll show you another method I've got for using this um, this method with the tape but a completely different idea that I had on how to use that yeah, I will go back to the bit of fluff that I had before that just doesn't look good does it no no <laughs> why but it's just not doing it for me I'll put this little piece under here though that's not even doing it for me actually all right we need to find something else This is a little thing that I've stamped previously and I just want to get in there and cut the cut it out as a circle but I can't get my circle punch in so I'll just chop some off that's better that's a one inch punch if you have these stamps from Tim Holtz that one takes a one inch punch I think the bigger one also fits a punch but I'm not sure which one Like I said, I can cut this off. And yes, I, if you're wondering, this is an original photo. You're probably horrified that I'm sticking this down, but I have so many of them, I really do. My mother was a prolific photographer. And I'm so lucky, I know, because lots of people don't have photos of themselves when they're little, but I have so many photos of when we were kids and I think it's better to use them than to leave them in a box and hence why I am sticking this down and I think I'm just going to put something else on here maybe this I just needs something hmm okay let's try one more thing That's a bit big. I'd like some words or something on it. Might try this one. I've also got to put my tape down. Don't forget, I'm looking at where I can put the tape. I might put it across the edge of the photo. That might be cute. Might work well like that. cut that down I think that will look fine I'll get this on and then I'll put some tape down that I made and then we'll go from there okay so 
maybe I'll put this one down too yep so this will be dry and because it's on plastic you'll be able to pull it up let's cut that at a bit of an angle and it should look like old tape now hopefully here you go that's what I want it to look like like aging tape I want to put some more on too um, maybe I'll put some down on the bottom of this as well receive now I am going to chop that off even if I have to give up some of those numbers at the top let's grab another piece of paper to show you what I intend to do because I want to do it in my cutter so I'll do it in a moment in the cutter here's a piece of paper I will cut this down I know I'm sacrificing those numbers but you can see that when I cut this down it's going to look quite good and this looks fantastic I'm really pleased with that it's a really simple idea but it just works doesn't it okay so this is my piece of plastic and I need my sellotape or sticky tape or whatever it is you call it where you live now with this one I need to make sure that I put them down fairly close to each other in fact I think I want them side by side so I'll just put down three but you could do however many you want three is you know I'm doing multiples because it's more efficient this way if I do one it's going to be a bit tedious to do this method and I was going to do more but I can't find the end of my tape now so two will have to do that's fine we'll just do two so what I've got is all my thin washi that I hardly ever use because it's a bit thin and I use it rarely so I had this idea that if I just put it down over the tape like this I can then use it I'll show you how that works in a moment when I pull it up and that's the reason that I'm sitting them side by side because I want them to um, I want to be able to you know cut through here and then put it down so I'm just going to put some random bits on otherwise I'll be here for a month of Sundays if I do them individually I'll try and get as random as I can just on angles and I haven't tried this so I don't even know if it's going to work all I'm doing is tearing little bits of washi and I'm putting them across both of the tapes that I've got on the plastic here some of them will tear and work better than others because I don't know why that's just the way it is I'm not sure why I don't use this thinner washi it's really lovely maybe it's because it's at the bottom of the pile and it tends to you know get lost underneath everything else but I'll have to redress that and work out how I'm going to keep it at the top so I can actually see it and then use it when I need it I'm not too worried about getting it over every scrap of the thing I do want it as much as I can so I'm just looking at what I can do what's left here I'll just grab another I need one little more piece for in here and this thinner washi I find it tends to go like that on the ends when you're trying to get it off the roll unless you're super careful and super careful and me don't mix I'm just going to look through it yeah that's pretty good actually all right so now I'll see if my grand plan actually works okay so what I've done is I've turned it upside down and cut down the edge of each piece of tape not quite straight some some places just using my craft knife and a steel ruler 
and now I've got some I guess some washi tape made from washi tape which sounds a bit weird but I guess that's what I've done and I want to just get the ends of it now so this is the end piece let's see if I can get this off the plastic now I should have left more of a tail on it I think but it is coming up and that's what you've got so you can I can put these pieces away in my stash and I can then use it so I could put some down here for example maybe just on the edge of this and cut it off here and that's not quite down so I can tuck that under so there you go that's the other grand idea I don't know what do you think does it work remembering I'm going to cut this off which I could have done when I jumped up before but I think that looks all right and I think that's just a way to use your skinny washies if you're like me and they tend to go to the bottom of the barrel and you don't use them so I hope you enjoyed that and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. And this is Deborah. Cheers.